Hey, what's up guys? I'm BTC. Roadhog is getting a buff. The poor guy has been getting hit over the head with the nerf bat over and over again in the last couple months. And Blizzard has realized that, ooh, you know what? Maybe they nerfed him a little too far. For all you Roadhog mains out there in Overwatch land, there might be a tiny sliver, a small ray of light shining through the dark clouds that have nerfed your character into the ground. Because that's where Roadhog is right now. He is six feet under the ground. He is as dead as dead can be. Right now, he has the second lowest win rate in the game and he has an almost non-existent pick rate in pro tournaments. I mean, the character has just been over nerfed to the point where he's basically useless. You had all the Hook 2.0 changes that, while they did fix some of the bogus stuff, it also made more problems. And then there was the cooldown increases and the damage reduction and yeah, Blizzard says, oh, Roadhog can still do the same amount of damage no, he can't. Maybe if he's shooting at a Reinhardt barrier and the Reinhardt just isn't moving anywhere, yeah, sure, Roadhog will do about the same amount of damage, but in every other situation, he currently does a lot less than what he used to do. So I'm going to go over what Blizzard has said they plan to do with Roadhog, but first, if you're new to the channel, make sure you subscribe because I always make videos whenever stuff like this is updated, so subscribe and hit that bell so you don't miss anything. So over on the official Blizzard forums, Jeff Goodman, the principal designer, responded to some questions about Roadhog and he said, We're testing some stuff internally for Roadhog. The focus of changes we're trying are around his defenses rather than his offensive capabilities. Even though the hook combo is weaker now, he can still dish out a lot of damage overall. If he had some more survivability, he would be in a better place. So I want to point out that, just like Jeff Kaplan, he's reiterating the whole thing about how Roadhog can still dish out a lot of damage. No, he can't! That is one of the main problems. Roadhog is not really a tank. He never has been. It's the same situation with Zarya. So this is a topic for an entirely different video, but really, boiling it all down, basically, Blizzard decided that they were going to make their class roles really simplistic. And because of that, there are some characters that are kind of in categories that where they kind of shouldn't be. Because in any other game that uses a class-based system, Roadhog and Zarya would not be classified as tanks. Now often in Overwatch, they're classified as like off tanks, but the more appropriate term is called a bruiser. So Roadhog and Zarya are very much a bruiser. They have high health like a tank, but rather than emphasizing protection of teammates and defensive capabilities, they're more focused on offense. The damage that they could do would compensate for that lack of defensive capability. And now Zarya can still do all of that, but Roadhog, after all of those nerfs, he can't do that anymore. So not only can he not protect his teammates, he also can't do the reliable damage that he used to do. But that reliable damage came in the form of kind of a gimmick. His hook combo allowed for an instant kill. And that's actually a, another video that we could talk about should there be one hit kill abilities in the game. But again, let's get back on track. So with Roadhog, ever since the beginning, he's basically been a really badly designed character with one awesome, amazing ability that completely made up for it. So he couldn't really defend his teammates and he didn't have a barrier and he was just basically an alt sponge for the enemy team, but he could hook you and kill you instantly. And that was the thing that he could do. And now that he can't do it anymore, there's nothing left for him to do. So what are they gonna do? Just give him armor? That's not gonna work. It's not gonna fix anything. He's still not gonna be a tank and he's not gonna do enough damage to be a bruiser. So he's going to be in this weird middle spot stuck in limbo where he's not quite a tank and not quite a bruiser and he doesn't really have a good role and other characters can do what he can do but better so there's really no reason to use him. So if they want to make him actually good again or at least viable right because that's the goal to have all the characters be viable 
then what they're gonna have to do is probably rebalance or redesign some of his stuff. Maybe so that his a breather doesn't actually heal as much as it would before, but instead it adds some sort of like damage reduction. Or maybe Roadhog simply has a passive, like a new passive altogether that just reduces all damage that he takes by, it would have to be a smaller amount, let's say something like 5% or 10% or something, right? So it's not like a massive decrease, but you know, it still it gives him a little bit more tankiness, a little bit more of that survivability because he doesn't have the barriers and the other abilities that the other tank characters have, you know? There's no barrier, there's no defense matrix, none of that stuff. He's just a big fat guy and you <laughs> You know, you shoot him, he's an alt sponge, that's what he is. So that's actually another thing that they could possibly do. Maybe make it so that his breather makes it so that for a certain amount of time, he actually heals from damage. Like, you know, for the next two or three seconds or so, if you're shooting him, then he will heal for that damage instead of taking it. So rather than just like straight protecting it like Zarya's bubble, uh, he would just gain health back. So it would be another similar mechanic, but not quite. So, but I don't know, just slapping some armor on him is not gonna fix it. So what do you guys think about all this? Let me know down in the comments section below. Also, don't forget to check out my Discord server where you can join the community and find other players to group with. The link for that is in the description. Thanks for watching. Hit that like button. Remember, always, always blame the controller because it's never your fault. Also, special thanks to all my Patreon supporters for helping to make this all possible. If you'd like to see what kind of cool rewards you can get for supporting the channel, check the links on screen and down below.